uh, Sadhguru, I, I have a personal question. Um, Is there a girl called Mohini in this? Thankfully, no. Okay. Um, so, I consider myself very against littering. I against? Littering, you know, throwing trash outside. Okay. So what I do is I generally take all my trash and I put it in my bag. At the end of the day, I go to the uh, trash can and I dump it there. And it hurts me when I see someone else littering. In this case, I'm taking a selfless effort to make the world a better place. And that effort is made worthless because of one selfish person. And on a more personal note, I've always placed my friends and their needs in front of my own. And this leads to people trying to take advantage of me or trying to take me for granted. So my question is this. In this world, the way the world's going right now, is it better to be selfish or is it better to be selfless? Oh. I think these three people have made a deal. Every question we ask, please applaud. <laughs> huh? Okay. See, do you want your atmosphere, uh, surroundings around you clean? Yes. Then you're selfish. Where did selflessness come from? You're selfish. I want you selfish. I want you more selfish. And more and more selfish, limitlessly selfish. <laughs> right now the problem is your selfishness is constipated. <laughs> your selfishness should become like this, not just my surroundings. I want a whole damn planet clean and wonderful. That's really selfish, I'm like that, I'm fully selfish. You're little selfish. Why are you conjuice? Why are you conjuice on your selfishness? Huh? It doesn't cost anything, hello? Don't bring all this big uh, thing about selfless and all this, where is such a thing? You're doing something that matters to you, hello? Do it. And uh, your friends are littering. If they didn't litter, what would you pick up in your bag? <laughs> no, no, no. Now don't get encouraged by this <laughs> The thing is, the thing is this. See, we want something to happen. You want. For some reason you got this idea. Living in Chennai, you getting this idea is not a strange idea. Because when we were children, we came to Chennai for the first time in 1969. There was a expo, world expo, some industrial expo. So uh, my father wanted to bring all his children to see this international expo because we had never seen anything like that in those days. It was not so common, it was one time happening, probably the first time happening. So we came and we landed in Chennai Central. We couldn't… <laughs> we don't want to go into this expo, we don't want the city, we want to go back to Mysore. He said, no, 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 expo, you must see industry. So we know all four of us siblings. We said, we don't want this city, we want to go back. I still wonder how you guys live. <laughs> Here you're outside, so it's okay. Otherwise that whatever, what is that, Buckingham Palace, huh? Buckingham, I'm sorry, Buckingham <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoever, wh what kind of man wants to put his name on that canal? <laughs> what a stinker he must have been, I don't know. How can a city live like this? The mom, I don't know, if you're living there all the time, you may not feel it. All of you have smelt it or no? Yes. How come nobody does anything? I made an elaborate plan and gave it to two successive governments in early 2000, saying that, uh, you know, you give me this Buckingham canal, I will create a wonderful garden and purify this water and do everything. Now they said, no, 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 we know what to do, we don't need you. I said, okay, but... You cannot go in that part of the city, simply. And once I stayed with some family right next to this damn canal, I was… you know, the programs, our programs used to be thir thirteen days at that time. 
After three days I said, please, I cannot, I, I'm just suffocating in this damn smell. And the mosquitoes are not biting you anymore, they're trying to take you. <laughs> Is anybody living in that area, next to the damn canal? Is it little better today? I don't know. Is it little better? So I'm saying, how is it that a whole city full of people don't do anything about it? For all kinds of silly things, they'll come out and fight on the streets. Something that's affecting your life, your children's life, your health and your well-being, and above all, the basic quality of your life. How come Chennai citizens never stand up and do anything? I appreciate this little, you carry a little plastic bag and gather other people's litter, I appreciate that. Is it enough? No. Without a doubt, no. All of you are engineers, or going to be. Why don't you, at least ten, fifteen of you, form an alliance that you can take up this damn project after your engineering is over, engineer something fantastic for this city, why not? I'll pitch with you. Well, is it going to happen day after tomorrow? Immediately are they going to welcome you with red carpets and say, do it? No, that's not how life works. That's not how life works. You must understand this. In terms of my ability to do things, I've been the same for the last thirty-eight years, all right? But every door in the world was closed because I made it very important for myself that I will not go with a qualification anywhere. If you see the quality, you open the door, otherwise we will see how to knock it down sometime later. Every door was closed in the world, every door. Nowhere they want you simply because of the way I look and the color of my skin is not right. Yes, this is a serious problem, don't think it's a small problem. When you travel internationally, the color of your skin is such a huge problem, you know? Especially when you want to do some work. If you just want to find employment and do… serve them, they're okay. When you want to do something which is transformative, the color of your skin is such a huge barrier. And above all, I look like this. I'm as Indian as it can be, okay? <laughs> which is insulting for lots of people, even including a whole lot of Indians, unfortunately. But today, you won't believe there is no place on the planet which is just waiting, they're willing to change. I'm talking about major international events, they're willing to change their annual events to my schedule. I'm not even able to take two percent of the invites that come to me. I'm not saying this to boast, but I'm saying it takes relentless work, you understand? <laughs> so, if you want something… if you want to really bring about major transformation in any field of life, what is needed is if you think this is the right thing to do, you need relentless application. You're not somebody who is going to get disappointed, frustrated, depressed with what other people do. They'll do what they do. What are they doing? They know what… they're doing what they know best. What do you know? That's what you must do, isn't it? So cleaning up this city is not such a big phenomenon. It can be done. It can be done. Hello? If you get all the engineering colleges in this city, together. You got social media, right? Contact all of them and once a month, how many engineering students could be there in Chennai? At least one lakh? Okay, hundred thousand plus or maybe two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand young people, once a month, if you walk the streets of Chennai, in one year's time, Chennai will be clean. Do it. First three months, you want me to walk with you, I will walk with you. I'm not an engineer though. 